health scare has state's health and human service departments alerting doctors. Michigan's health department says there's been a spike in the number of legionosis cases here across the state. And many of those cases are right here in Metro Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is live in Detroit. So how much of an increase are we talking about, Naya? Well, Alicia, just to put that into perspective, we're looking at a 26% increase from this time last year. That's according to health, health officials. They actually tell us that out of the 135 confirmed cases in this state, right here in Michigan, there are 70 of them that come from the Metro Detroit area. Now, Le Legionnaire's disease is very serious. It can actually uh, cause a pneumonia type of uh, bacteria. The bacteria lives in fresh water and becomes a problem when it gets into the the air and people breathe them in. Since July 24th, there have been several cases that have been confirmed. Three cases uh, were at Wayne State University, two contractors and an employee. The university believes it came from a cooling tower. Now, the health department says there's a national rise in the respiratory infection. It's most common in the summer and early fall when warming. Stagnant water allows Legionella bacteria to grow more. If you're over the age of 50, a current or for former smoker, have chronic lung disease or a weakened immune system. Experts say you're more at risk. Coughing, fever, muscle aches, and shortness of breath are all signs of Legionella, and you should call a doctor. One woman says she knows how serious the disease is. That's because her aunt was diagnosed after a faulty room humidifier. My aunt, uh, Lena Newkirk, um, became very ill and undisclosed. Um, they didn't know what was wrong. It was an awful suffering. It was an awful death. Her extremities turned black and um, she basically became comatose. All right, so health officials say if you have recently traveled overnight, maybe you've stayed at a health care facility. They also say if there's been any plumbing done um, around where you live or where you work, even some maintenance work that you are at a higher risk. If you have questions, you should really just contact your doctor. Naya Harden, 7 Action News.